Welcome to the Medved Trader Scanning Tutorial, Part 3. In Parts 1 and 2 of the tutorial, we discussed and demonstrated how to use the simple mode of the Medved Trader scans. Let's take a look at the advanced mode. Let's switch to the Scanner tab and edit the scan that we created before. This scan is a simple kind of scan. In general, when creating advanced scans, it's easier to first create a simple scan that uses the indicators that you want and does something close to what you envision the advanced scan doing. Then convert it to advanced and modify that. Click on the Switch to Advanced button to convert the scan to advanced scan. Note that it warns you that once you convert it, you cannot convert back. Click Yes to continue. The scan is now converted to the advanced mode. The advanced scan consists of two parts. The first part is the definitions of variables that represent the indicators that are used in the scan. It's right here. You can define as many such variables as you like. In the conversion, three such variables were automatically created from the simple scan. Pace line, Bollinger Bands top, and Bollinger Bands bottom. As you can see, for each variable there is a name. There is the indicator that the name represents. There is the parameters for the indicator. And the value name for the indicator. Of course, if you change the variable name in the table, the name in the code also will change. Let's shorten the Bollinger Bands top and Bollinger Bands bottom to BB top and BB bottom. As you can see, it changed in the code. The second part of the advanced scan is the actual program that executes the scan. The language used is C Sharp, and the editor is similar to the one that is used in Microsoft's Visual Studio. The function that holds the code that executes the scan is main calculation. You should not change that name. As you can see, the simple rules got translated into the three if statements. The explanation of the available functions in the code is in our help file. Just hit F1 anywhere in the Medved Trader. Let's simplify the code a little bit. There is some autocomplete functionality in the editor so that they get hits to what parameters the functions require. To show that, let's add another alert when close goes below Bollinger Band's lower band. So we put that alert in the second if, and we'll say trigger alert. Below BB, close below BB. As you can see, just like in Visual Studio, any syntax errors are immediately shown to you at the bottom so you can correct them. For example, if you misspell the function name, it will show up immediately. Other than more complex logic, there are also certain things you can do only in advanced scans. For example, let's say that we would want the user to be able to, instead of being tied to the 250 for the pace limit, to specify whatever limit he wants. For that, we can use the scan parameter functions in the code. First, we will define the parameter. 
we use the function called define paint bar parameter for that. It can be placed anywhere really, but for convenience we will place it at the very start. Define paint bar parameter. So we give it a parameter ID, parameter description, It is an integer, so we say true. Its minimum is, um, let's say, 10. Its maximum is 1,000. Increment is 1. And the default is 250, just like before. That will tell the scan that there is a user-defined parameter with certain attributes, so it will expose that to the user. Next, we will use this parameter in the calculations. For that, before the calculation, we need to get the value of the parameter. So we'll use the getPaintBarParameter function. GetPaintBarParameter function. And we'll just give it the parameter ID that we created below. And then we will replace the 250 with the newly created pace limit. Now let's see how this works. We will Go back to the portfolio and we will look at the params button for the new uh, for this uh, skin. You will see that in addition to the colors and the alerts, by the way, notice that there is a new alert that we added, we have a new variable called the pace limit. That's the one that we added. Let's change it to, let's say, 300. Now, when we run the scan, the code that will be executed will be the C-sharp code that we put in using the new pace limit of 300. The scan is starting, it's sending up alerts, including the new alert for above and below Bollinger Band. And it's running. There is more information about the scans, how to program them, and how to use them in our help file. Just hit F1 when you're running Medved Trader, or look at the help section under support on our website. This concludes part 3 of our tutorial on Medved Trader scans. Tell your friends about Medvitrader and good luck in your trading.